and welcome to Overtime, brought to you by Kingscast at www.kingscast.net. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalazowski. And if last episode was a time to drink, this show is a time to drink even more, plus three. Yeah, that's right, Kings fan. Uh, that's, that's a bummer of a game. Game two tonight, Kings Blues. We're going to talk about that right now. Game two, episode 191. Kings fans, so coming into tonight, game two, huge game, Kings obviously last game, you know what, the Blues had a ski mask on, they had a gun, and they absolutely stole that game, quick blew it, it is what it is, Kings didn't score enough, you know, they lost the game, and moving on into tonight's game, you know this was the utmost of importance, you know, everyone just forgot about that game, moved past it, you know, we're looking to really increase the physicality of the game, try to score more goals, saw a little of that, actually I saw half of that, Keith. Yeah, I saw half of that too, I mean. <laughs> First period, great. Dustin Brown with a goal. The Kings came out with an intensity very similar to the way the St. Louis Blues did in game one. Uh, you know, one nothing after the first period. Jonathan Quick still looking good. Brian Elliott still also looking good for the St. Louis Blues. It's going to be a physical series. You know, uh, ah, I, it just... I it sucks. Go with that, Chris. <laughs> you know what? There's not much to say. You know what? Uh, you know, going into the third is when, they, when the Kings... And this has been a theme all year. Remember that stat last year? The Kings were like 99-0 and three. Yeah. After the third period, after having you know, after the second period, well, that has been all gone this season. They have had plenty of third period meltdowns, and unfortunately, that carried over into the into the playoff game tonight in game two. You know, gave up with a goal uh, and absolutely changed the momentum, the equalizer in the third, and you just felt the Kings were just just hanging on there, trying not to lose. Yeah, that absolutely happened. And, you know the. St. Louis Blues, they score that goal. It's one to one. Complete momentum shifts, very similar to game one, however, in favor of the Kings. And, uh, you know, they just kept pressing the Kings. You know, they kept on pressing and pressing and pressing. And sure enough, they get that go ahead goal, you know, 2 1 with 30 seconds left in the game. Uh, no overtime to be hit. We were preparing for overtime. We ordered our next drink at the bar. And, you know, before the bartender even poured the drink, there is sure enough, the St. Louis Blues get that goal. I mean, what a. Oh, God, what an, what an effort by the Los Angeles Kings. I mean, to come out so strong and then to lose it is so disappointing as a Kings fan. And 0-2 in the series, I mean, that's a tough place to be in, Chris. Yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, you, again, I really don't think you can fault Quick 100% again. I thought he played well, uh, stopped some great shots, and the, the Blues are really showing their blue line depth and the Kings' lack of it. I mean, obviously we miss Green. We really miss, miss Willie Mitchell. We talked about this. Yeah. I mean, was he really that big an X factor last year? Oh, I, mean, I think he was. It really does seem like it now, but, uh, you know, down 0-2. Kings do come home, you know, for games three and four. And I just heard this on the radio tonight. I did not know that, that the Kings had the best, the most wins at home over any team in the league. Also, the I in think regulation. Of, yes, in regulation. Uh, but they won 19 out of 25 games at Staples Center. So, you know, I'm not giving up complete hope yet, but you look at what the reality is, and the reality is that the Kings have to win four out of five games. Well, the reality Impossible. is also that the Los Angeles Kings are so bad on the road this season, yeah. which is completely the opposite of how it was last season. I mean, you know, they were so good on the road that Daryl Sutter put the Kings in a hotel for the playoffs at home last year, staying at the Ritz-Carlton. I mean, that's how good the Los Angeles Kings were on the road. This year, they're absolutely terrible. So do I like our chances? Well, yeah, I guess I do at home, but... Game seven would go back to St. Louis, so it's going to be a really tough series, I think, to win. And St. Louis definitely showing that they're a much better team post-trade deadline. And, God, Ken Hitchcock is coaching the hell out of that team. I mean, like you said, their blue line is do great things. David Backus, what a center for them. And uh, I just, I'm not seeing his matching. I see, I see Andre Kopitar really needing to step it up. It was nice to see Dustin Brown and Justin Williams back up with Kopitar tonight and, you know, got some scoring from Dustin Brown. But, God, you just... You can't get it past Elliott, which yeah. is weird because you couldn't get it past Quick last uh, last series last year. Feels very similar to that. I yeah. mean, also, the, the magic has obviously disappeared, but the scoring is completely dried up. I mean, what a terrible time for this to be happening. Obviously, it sort of teetered on the end of the season there a little bit, but two goals in two games is not going to do it. You mentioned Kopitar. Maybe we were a little bit hard at him last time, but I know he piled up some assists. Uh, this last uh, quarter of the season, but he has gone 17 games without a goal. And when you're the Kings, you're the defending cup champions. You were waiting for your big guys to step up. Kopitar, big guy. Carter, also a big guy. Richards, where are you guys? I mean, Carter scored a goal every two games, so I, yes, I absolutely expected him to score a goal tonight. Not that there weren't close chances, 
but close doesn't quite do it. You know, me too. I thought that Richards and Carter actually played a pretty good game until the end of the second period, I think. I mean, you know, they just couldn't put it in the back of the net. But, uh, you know, co you know, coming into, uh, you know, Saturday night at Staples Center, I mean, this is a must win for the Los Angeles Kings. You go down, you know, maybe you win game four and, you know, then lose the series. But every game now for the Los Angeles Kings is a must win. You got to win it. You need Jeff Carter back up scoring goals. You need Andre Kopitar, you know, being that number one center that Daryl Sutter was you know, all over the place with, right. uh, you know, you need everything to come into place. And you know what? I think Matt Green has got to go back in the lineup. I think maybe for Keaton Ellerby. I absolutely agree. Matt Green, the right choice. Got to get him back in there. He is a rock on this team. He's an emotional leader. Veteran. <laughs> veteran. He's a goddamn veteran, Kalzuski. And, you know, Keaton Ellerby, obviously, I'm not blaming everything on him, but he's definitely a, a weak spot. Very obvious. The Blues know that. Pressing him quite a bit. Uh, but it all comes down to scoring goals. I mean, Quick is still the man. I don't want to hear any more crap about are we going to see Bernier? I think some people post on our Facebook page. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, I think we saw him play his last game. Uh, you know, in the Minnesota Wild game, I believe it was. So I don't expect to see him play uh, with the Kings anymore. And I certainly don't expect to see him, uh, you know, in the playoffs this year. I think the ramifications will be too big like that. You're dividing the locker room. You're pissing off players. You know, uh, it's not going to happen. So, Kings, time to step it up. Stars, I'm looking at you. You know what, guys? Here's the bottom line. The bottom line is it is not over. If you look back to when the Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup, they went down 0-2 against the Vancouver Canucks. Yep. So it is still possible for us to win this. Is it looking good? No, it's absolutely not. That said, you got to have faith in a team that won the Stanley Cup last year. I mean, you know, Daryl Sutter coaches the hell out of this team. I mean, yeah, we're missing Willie Mitchell. Matt Green, maybe not up to par at this point. But the fact of the matter is, it's a winnable series. St. Louis Blues looked like a team to beat tonight, and, you know, we didn't win. So we got to get better on the road. That's just what's going to happen. So bottom line for me, I think Matt Green has to come back in the lineup, say goodbye to Keaton Ellerby, and, you know. Pray for some magic to return. Yeah, a little <laughs> magic. You know, let's blow some fairy dust on this. And, you know, let's give Ella Martinez a shot, Kalzuski. Why not? Let's do it. I like it. Why not? Had a big uh, big part of the team last year during the run. So, hey, it's time to mix up a little bit. Obviously, uh, Frazier in there tonight. Actually, we just talked about how Richardson we thought was doing a good job. But uh, I like the move. A little bit, little bit grittier down there. Got Nolan down there as well. Uh, you know, expecting more from everyone, top to bottom. <laughs> All right, Kings fans, game three coming up. We would like to present our top five things that we do not want to see at Staples Center for game three. Number five, Dave Joseph, our in-game arena announcer, announcing that we have the best fans in the world. Woo! <laughs> Number four, Jay Flats wearing a blazer. That only works in the regular season, not in the playoffs when you're losing. Number three, Andre Kopitar and Jeff Carter going scoreless. Don't want to see it. Number two, Bailey beating his drum in my ear when we're losing. The number one thing we do not want to see at Staples Center when we're down 0-2 is any Kings fan wearing pants. Hey, Kings fans. You want to be on Kings Cast? Of course you do. Meet us up at the 318 level near the elevator near the end of the period where we'll be shooting our in-game analysis, and you can be on Kings Cast. <laughs> So here we go. It's We're going to be right back at you on Saturday, right after Game 3. There's going to be no breaks for Kings Cast, at least in this series. Not going to happen. No. Uh, look forward to that. Like the show up top, even if you didn't like the game tonight. Subscribe down below. You know you got to, or maybe it's the opposite. Don't forget, follow our editor, Nathan Popejoy. He's on the Twitter. We're going to link right it there. out. there. <laughs> no, maybe right there. Or around here. Or maybe here. <laughs> Who the hell knows? Say much time. <laughs> you got to do it. I'm Keith Cordell. And I'm Chris Kalziewski. Thanks for watching Overtime. Bye, Kingscast.